Hey y'all, it's Brittany Akuto back again with my purple robe. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we got some before and after action going on, so let's get straight into it. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, I am Brittany Akudo. So happy to have you here. All right, so usually I'm like with a white backdrop and I'm gonna still do that, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna still do that. But I was like, you know what, for this video, I feel like it deserves backstory, right? Like we need, we need the backdrop of how this all came together. Okay, so boom. So my friend, he was sent a purple dress, okay? A purple dress. And he clearly did not order the dress, so he sent it right back to the return address. However, that return address sent it right back to him. And he's like, hmm, that's weird. Sends it right back, and they send it back to him. And so at this point, he's like, yo, like, I did not order this dress. I do not want this dress. Take it back. And they're like, yo, we do not care. And they're still sending it to him for whatever reason. And so I don't, So they were doing that back and forth, like, for... They were doing that back and forth for a while, actually. And then at a point, he was like, you know what? I'm going to just keep it, whatever. I'm going to donate it or I'm going to throw it away, I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna just keep it and do something with it. And then he was like, you know what? My girl, my girl Brit Brad gonna know what to do with this. He comes and he brings me the dress and he's like, yo, I was sent this dress so many times. I try to send it back, they not trying to take it back. So I'm gonna just give it to you, Brittany. Do what you can with it, do what you want with it. Just not that cute, quick disclaimer. <laughs> it wasn't, but yeah, do what you want with it. It's yours now, I'll take it off of my hands. And so I'm like, you know, all right, you know, thank you to the, to the thought that counts, you know. This dress wasn't that cute, but um, it's the thought that counts, and I'll, I'll accept it. And so I took the dress, and he was like, you know what, actually, how about you refurbish the dress? Is that the word, refurbish, or refurb, or... How about, how about you redo this dress, sew it up, jazz it up, change it up, and then you wear it to the gala. Because at that time he was putting together a gala and the fabric and the, the color of the dress sort of went with the gala vibes. He was like, yeah, just change it up, wear it to the uh, change it up, wear it to the gala, and yeah. And I was like... The challenge accepted that. So I was like, bet, let me, I'm gonna do that and you'll see the final product. And so, yeah, so that's basically what this video is about. Um, basically my journey from turning this ugly dress into something that's actually, is actually really cute. And that's much, much, much more flattering on me, much more flattering on my body type. And that just, it just looks much better overall. And so, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you haven't, already like comment and subscribe i mean you're here already so just just stay you know what i mean so yeah like comment and subscribe and let's get back to the regular scheduled programming and yeah let's jump right back into it okay so y'all this is the dress as you can see she's probably not the cutest in the bunch but we can definitely work with it and make something shake so first and foremost, I'm going to start by removing the zipper. I'm going to use the seamer for this is a seam rubber. Uh, focus. Okay, well, yeah, seam rubber. And I'm going to remove the zipper. And then I'm just going to disassemble the whole thing. And, ooh, child, okay. I'm going to have to, so this is how the bottom looks. I'm definitely going to have to put a slit in there, child. Like, and you know, show a little leg, show a little thigh because... The way it's just all, it's just, <laughs> it's just giving, I don't, I don't even know, I just, I, I can't, I can't, okay. I mean, again, this might be flattering on somebody else, but I know on me, it, this dress probably won't do me justice. 
and I'm a big go big or go home type of chick so I don't want a basic dress <laughs> so um so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put I'm gonna take out the zipper I'm gonna put like a, a long well not that mm, is it gonna be that long no not it's not gonna be that long but it's gonna be a slit where it'll show just you know just a little little leg maybe a little thigh um just a little bit just a little bit and I'm gonna make I'm gonna turn this cow neck into a sweetheart if you can just imagine my imagination into a sweetheart neckline and probably uh, make like a sleeve that's like that's stiff in a sense I don't know, like I see it in my head. I'm gonna have to draw it out so y'all can see it. But I have this slight vision in my head, and I'm going to make it come to life. So I'm excited to see how this is going to turn into something nice. I'm very curious on how I'm gonna do this, but we'll do it, child. We'll do it. Y'all will see it. Y'all do it with me. <laughs> kind of want to show y'all what I have so far but the dress is all the way over there and I'm over here on this couch so maybe tomorrow <laughs> but yeah I actually need to get up shower go to bed get some sleep and get some sleep on my bed not this couch although this couch is super comfortable but yeah I actually got a lot done I'm actually I'm actually proud of myself yeah So, I'm sorry, I don't have that many clips from the gala, so I think I may have just put a few pictures of food <laughs> as some selfies. So, it wasn't really something where I can, like, video record, so, yeah, I just put some food. The food was bomb. Also, I think some of the food that I put in this video, I think that I may have also put food from a different gala I went to but I bet just just take it like that please just take it like that <laughs> just take it like that but yeah um I think it's just so amazing how I was able to literally take nothing and turn it into something you know so I thank God just for that gift honestly but thank y'all so much for watching these videos thank you all all 10 of y'all <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Be a little small right now, but we're gonna grow. We're gonna grow in Jesus' name. But no, thank y'all so much um, for just watching, supporting. Um, I put a lot of work into creating the clothes and then um, wearing it and recording it and then editing it. It's a lot of work, but I love every part of it. I love, that's just my creative space. Like I love doing it. So thank y'all so much. I'm trying to figure out how to smoothly transition this video into the next clip of videos where I'm with the white backdrop and I'm like, you know, doing my thing or whatever. So, um, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
So since we're on the topic of transformation and the topic of turning a basic dress into a beautiful gown, I want to briefly talk about a transformation that had to happen within me and within my heart. So I'll start with a Bible verse, Romans 8, 5 to 6. People who live following their sinful selves think only about what they want. But those who live following the spirit are thinking about what the spirit wants them to do. If your thinking is controlled by your sinful self, there is spiritual death. But if your thinking is controlled by the spirit, there is life and peace. So years ago, I used to be the type that followed my heart and followed my emotions, which by the way, one of the worst advice anyone can give you is to follow your heart. The heart can be and is so deceitful unless you keep the word of God in there. But anyways, if if it felt good, I was doing it. If it was what I wanted to do at the moment, I was going to do it. If I wanted to say it, I was going to just say it, right? Until it came a point where I was just fed up with the way I was building up my life and the direction my life was going. And it wasn't until I stopped listening to myself. Like literally, like I, I, like I realized that our natural state is to be selfish and self-pleasing and that's everybody. So I had to stop listening to myself and stop following my selfish wants. And I had to transform my mindset and transform the way I thought. And I had to genuinely follow what the spirit of the Lord wants for me. Not saying that my life became perfect. No, not at all. There's always going to be something happening in your life, right? But it's whether you have joy in in that chaos and whether you have peace within yourself, although your surroundings may or may not look like the most peaceful situation. So it was simply turning away from living my life the way I thought was good and turning to God and following what he said was good for me. So that, that simple surrender changed my life drastically for the better and it's a it's a journey of course and I don't get it right all the time of course but God is always there to put me right back on path trust and believe he does so yeah I hope this message encourages someone so that's all I have for this video hope y'all enjoyed this content that you didn't even know you needed like comment and subscribe have a great rest of your day and be encouraged bye